Indonesia will give a third booster vaccine to healthcare workers amid concerns at the alarming number of medical staff dying from COVID-19. Health experts say more than 130 medical workers have died since June. The government in Jakarta is also extending emergency measures on social movement beyond Java and Bali as deaths from coronavirus hover around 1,000 a day. Our Indonesia correspondent Ann Barker has more. This is how the world's fourth biggest nation is vaccinating some of its 270 million people. Health workers are taking vaccine vans onto the streets to immunise those who lack easy access to health care. It's a lot easier for me to access because it's organised within our neighbourhood. Only this month, Indonesia has finally reached a target of vaccinating one million people a day. It had hoped to reach herd immunity across the country by early next year, but six months after the first jabs were given, only 5% of the population has had two doses. To add to the challenge, almost one and a half million health workers will now get a third booster shot amid alarm at the growing number of medical staff dying from COVID-19 despite being fully vaccinated with China's Sinovac vaccine. We're using the Moderna vaccine so as to provide maximum immunity. Last night, the first of 10 tonnes of medical aid arrived from Singapore, including desperately needed ventilators and oxygen tanks. More oxygen will arrive next week for hospitals overwhelmed by demand and where oxygen supplies have all but run out. The virus continues to tear across Indonesia. This week has been the deadliest so far with almost 3,000 deaths over three days. From Monday, Indonesia will extend emergency restrictions to outer islands, including Sumatra, Lombok and Papua. Anne Barker, ABC News.